nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this program. Great job. Thank you. So you you uh, you went through the coronavirus? Or? Yes, uh, my wife and I both had it in a very light, um, mild case. And when was that? It was uh, about a month ago. Yeah. And so we, I was, uh, you know, pretty much recovered after two days and felt great. And um, yeah, finally tested negative. And we have uh, we've only just begun to expand new platforms of testing around the country, and it'll be owing to the ingenuity the creativity and the expertise of the extraordinary men and women here at Mayo Clinic. Uh, I'm grateful for uh, your words. We continue to social distance. We stand up the research around testing, around tracing, uh, around isolating. Uh, we make sure that we're aligning the resources we have in a really smart way and, uh, and use those resources we have. And in Minnesota, I understand very clearly, pretty much everywhere I go, this would be one of those places. I stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, and there's a Really no, no way to uh, highlight that more than what happens here at the Mayo Clinic. Very proud of this, this clinic, all the work that they do, the innovation. They're self-starters, and you saw today some of the incredible uh, technical work and research that they've done to help the American people. I yeah, well, Dr. Badley, thank you for that. Uh, and we'll keep, we'll keep the support coming. But any kind of a timetable on when the therapeutics that you're developing? If if they continue to show results, because a vaccine is a year off. Uh, the, all the task force doctors have told me that from go, uh, yeah. based on three different clinical trials. The therapeutics we continue to hear may be available this summer. Is that a possibility in any that you're I, working on? I think we will see results from phase two, which are early stage.